I'm here today with the world famous Wrigley the Bulldog. We're going to show you an oldie but a goodie, the rear naked choke. When you get in this position and you got a seat belt, you always want to make sure you're protecting the choking hand. The reason is, if Wrigley stripped the top hand off, I still got a choke. If I'm protecting the wrong hand and he stripped the top hand off, I have no choke. All right, second thing, when you get this grip, you want to get cheek to cheek. You really want to stay tight. Don't give him a lot of space. See, he can just move his head. Stay tight so he can't get his head back across. Third thing, make sure your elbow is as far in front of him as you can possibly get it. Okay, now, next, you don't want to come across like this because you're telegraphing it. If Wrigley were a human, he could just block it on the way up. Okay, he could probably block it anyway because he's amazing, but... You want to sneak behind. As this goes behind his head, your hand comes to your bicep, okay? So you want to end up behind his head and on your bicep. Now, once you get it locked in, you just fill your chest with air, expand everything and choke. Now, for me, when I finish, I like to give him a big smoochers and he loves it. I would not recommend you do that to your training partners. They may not appreciate that. So there we go, Wrigley the Bulldog. And we appreciate your love and support so much.